Preparatory work: the installation site should be free from dust, keep dry and ventilated, check whether installation tools and terminal accessories are complete, check whether cable accessories match correctly, stripping. Stripping follow with the dimensions of the installation instructions A. Keep 30 mm steel armoring from the bottom and peel off the rest. Leave 10 mm inner sheath at the root. Peel off the inner sheath of other cables and peel off the filler. Be careful not to scratch the copper shooting layer of the cable. Separate the three faces and wrap the copper shield at the cable end of each face with PVC tape. Grounding. Use coarse sandpaper to sand the oxidized layer and paint on the surface of steel armor and sand the outer sheath. Clean the steel armor and outer sheath with cleaning paper. Fix the armored grounding to the steel armor with a constant force spring. Wrap the constant force spring and steel armor with PVC tape. Embedded the copper-shooted ground wire into the three-phase split of the cable using a triangular cushion cone. Fixed on the copper-shooting layer with a constant force spring. Wrap the constant force spring with PVC tape. Fill the gap between the two constant force springs with filling glue and wind the constant force spring. Wrap a layer of sealant around the connection between the cable outer sheath and the insulation self-adhesive tape. Wrap a layer of insulating self-adhesive tape around the filling adhesive and lap the outer sheath 10 mm. Install the heat shrink breakout. Put three cores heat shrinkable breakout into the root, heat and shrink. Sets into the insulating tube and support sleeve finger and lap 20 to 30 millimeters from bottom to top around the uniform heating contraction. If the insulating tube is too long, cut off the excess insulating tube after cooling. Cut the length of heat shrinkable tube according to the demand of construction site. Copper shooting and semiconductive layer processing. Check the length between the top of the cable and the heat shrink tube and remove the excess heat shrink tube to the required length. Determine the length of the copper shield. Mark and fix the copper shield 
with PVC. Pay attention not to damage the semiconductive layer when peeling off the copper shield layer and make face identification respectively. Determine the length of the semiconductive layer according to the requirements. Mark and strip the semiconducting layer. Be careful not to hurt the insulation layer when stripping the semiconductive layer. The end of the semiconductive layer is chamfered with a tour to make a smooth transition between the semiconductive layer and the insulating layer. Cut the insulation of each face according to the terminal hole depth plus 29 mm length. Install the prefabricated terminal. Treat the end burst of the insulation layer. Sand the surface of the insulation layer with fine sandpaper. Be careful not to sand the semiconducting layer when sanding the insulating layer. Clean the surface of the insulating layer in the direction of the semiconductive layer with cleaning paper. Wrap the semiconductive tape around the copper shielding and overlap the cold shrink tubing by 3 mm. Mark the installation positioning lines as shown in the illustration, figure 5, clean the surface of the insulation. Apply a layer of silicon paste evenly on the surface of the insulation layer and the inner cavity of the terminal body. Force the terminal body into the cable until the lower end of the terminal body is flush with the mark. Wrap the core end with PVC. Turn the large end of the cap outward and wrap sealant around the root to restore the cap.
Crimp the lug and cover the sealing pipe. Insert the terminal. Press and then clean the terminal according to the national standard. Wrap sealant around the wiring log, crimping area, to fill in the gap between the insulation layer and the log and the log indentation. Wrap a layer of insulating self-adhesive tape around the sealant. Cover the cold shrink sealing tube. Lap with the terminal buddy and cut off the excess cold shrink sealing tube. Installation finish. Clean up the site. Thank you for watching.